It is time to get it on in this EASHL Challenge. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, it is time to drop the puck. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. There's been a healthy buzz for this one. Now it's time to see if it lifts up to the height. Here's a short pass to Biggs. Receives the pass. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to J. Claus. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Maintains possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides it to O'Brien. Jones setting up against the wall. J. Claus takes it across the line. Here's the pass. Oh, if there's going to be a regret in this one, that might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just missed the pass. The scoring chance goes away. O'Brien's got it in the offensive zone. Blast from the blue line. And that goes wide of everything. 
And he denied that opportunity. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The game is still scoreless. Toronto's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Holden. Here's a pass down low. Takes control of the puck. He's got a breakaway. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. Toronto's got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench. Then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one-goal lead. Jaycloss brings it in. The Rebels will play it from the corner. Here's the chance to set up now. And he was right there. They can't connect. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 1-0 the score. Toronto's won it. And now it's grabbed by Holden. That pass doesn't go. Quick feed to Biggs. The Rebels will play it through the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. And now he tries to get it across to Biggs. And that goes off a player. And now it's over to White. Great pass from off the right side. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Here's a Whoa. chance in front. He scores! They tie it up! Well, they've been working hard to get this game back to level. And that goal will do it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. No one home on that play. Quick pass to Jay Claus. Centering pass. Toronto's got the puck. And now he moves it to White. Couldn't complete the play. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Dangle. Strong feed from along the boards. Hammers a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here's a short pass to Jay Claus. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. The centermen glide into position. Toronto's won the faceoff deep in their own end. It's almost like he dug in a little deeper there after the icing to win that draw. Quick feed down low. A little banging and crashing now. The Rebels get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Dangle. Puts it on net. That goes wide. Picked up along the wall by Jones. And that's picked off in front. Handles a sweet feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes Did the feed. Scores! What a do, baby! The club have a bit of a sigh of relief on their collective expression here, Ray. Yeah, I think this is going to be a back-and-forth game tonight. So if you can be the team that's out in front setting the tempo, you're in a good spot. Here's a shot! Just wide! Graham's got it in the defensive zone. Not able to connect. Graham stick handling in his own zone. Slides the puck across to Dangle. Inside the final minute of the first here. And that one's broken up. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. We got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Preventing any sort of opportunity to set up with the extra attacker. White's off to the box, holding the call. 
player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shot it these days. And there's the horn concluding period number one as both teams get on the board. Underway. The Rebels win possession here as we open up the pier. He let that one oh, go boy. after the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 2 1 game. Toronto's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Musa quickly over to O'Brien. Couldn't connect on that pass. Holden's got the puck in his own zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a chance out front, and that one's broken up. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Big time stop. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Biggs looks around. Slides the puck down low. Quick feed down low. Beautiful cross ice feed inside the zone. Cue the cross ice Scores on the power play, Razor. They've been working on this power play in practice. The practice pays off, but they're on the board. Toronto's counter punch pays off. They've even things up here in the second. They've had really good legs since the start of this period, and it seemed like a matter of time before they punched through. Can't hang on after that hit. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Takes the pass. Here's a chance right in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Biggs takes the puck. Quick feed to Jay Claus. Moves inside. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that takes guts to get in front of that one. Up along the wing. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Trying to get back on the attack now. And he whiffs on it. Can't connect. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Holden. What a great read breaking up the pass. A chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Great reflexes. Another save. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Biggs works the puck in his own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The club have gained possession off the wall. That pass goes a little sideways. Takes control of the puck. Looks to make a play over to Dangle. Toronto's got possession at center. Puck exits the zone. Pass to O'Brien. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Jay Claus. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Graham's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Sends it over to White. Here's a shot. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Scooped up along the wall by O'Brien. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Couldn't complete the play. Way too much congestion blocks that. Toronto's going to play the puck from behind the cage. 
trying to clear from the defensive zone. Swing and a miss. Here's a race for the loose puck. Picks up a head of steam in the officials. Well, he scores! Breaks the deadlock! Really good play in the net. And now somebody's got a lead, and we'll see if they can increase it. The Rebels have gone up by one late here in this second. You've worked this hard to get yourself into the lead. You don't want to give it back here in the last quarter of this period. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Rebels have it against the wall. Holden's moving the puck through his own zone. And he slides it quickly to O'Brien. Handles the puck from the left side. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. To his teammate. Moved out in front. Knocked away. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Rebels look to start the transition game. J. Claus plays the puck. Oh, what a save in front. Good technique as the puck is over to the corner out of the way. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Sends it across. And he gets a paddle on that one. Toronto's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. He scores! Oh, what a great way to go into the end of a period. You score, you put a mark up on the board, and you know that you've really put a dent in the other team's confidence. With just seconds to spare, the setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. By number 32, assisted by number 37. That'll do it for period number two. Boy, if you like offense, this is a game made for you. Claus. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. They've got numbers. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. From the right side, they gain the zone. On the backhand! Denies him in front. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Strong defensive effort. They've got the defense outnumbered. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. Graham's getting called for tripping. It's a tough penalty to take. You're trying to do the right thing. Unfortunately, you pull his feet out. You got to go to the penalty box. Toronto's won the draw. Grabbed along the board by Jones. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They clear the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Toronto's got the puck shorthanded. And they managed to clear it. Toronto's on the attack. Feeds it down low. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Moves it to White. O'Brien's got it along the wing. Hammers the shot! Great defensive effort there. And a good smack with the stick to get it down. Here's a chance to get it out. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. And now he angles it across to White. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. And it comes up with the save! Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You had lots of zone time, but no real dangerous chances on that power play. The club have possession along the boards. And here's a shot! Stones him in front! Misses! Get it on the cage! Make the goalie do something with it! Well, they're forechecking hard here, James. All over the puck. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Still lots of time left in the period. 
We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Dangles won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Well, the official's going to give him two minutes to think about that one. Yeah, you can argue for a few seconds, James, I guess, but you already know at this point you're going to sit down. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Frank's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Toronto's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Hammers a shot, and that one's broken up. Great block there. Sends a pass over. Shot tipped. Chance in front. How did he stop that one? They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. He was locked in there. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And a successful clearing attempt. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Excellent stick work on the play. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. The man advantage is over. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Tees it off! Oh, what a stop! The Rebels going to work on offense. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to O'Brien. Takes the puck at the point. Picked up along the boards by O'Brien. Here's a shot! Big time stop! Gets a blocker on it! Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's an odd man rush! Takes a wrist shot, comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Dead center, excellent save. More than half the frame has been played here. The Rebels have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Two. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Jay Claus frightens the other team as soon as he collects the puck here. He's got two. He's looking for a hat trick. Gets in front of it. Kapanen's not really held up his end of the bargain tonight. Every shot is an adventure in there. He's lucky his team scoring goals tonight. Toronto's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Biggs has it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. And he's ridden off the puck. Takes the feed. O'Brien's carrying it ahead. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. The Rebels have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Dangles won it off the faceoff. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Toronto's. He's got a little jump. Here's a shot. Huge stop on the breakaway. If you're going to win close games, James, when there are key moments with the game on the line, you have to make the big play. Moves the puck down low. And that one's turned away. The Rebels get a hold of the puck along the boards. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Moves the puck across to Dangle. Here's an offensive chance. Fantastic save! The Rebels played along the boards. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. They get it out of the defensive end. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Frank's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Rebels win the face-off. Nice pass. Big play inside the defensive zone. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Coughs it up at center. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. 
The Rebels take possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. With the blast! And that one's blocked! Big save! Just as time runs out! There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Ray was kind of a bold challenge, but they were ready for it, I guess. Well, we, were just, we wondered if they were, and the way that they played this game, it was pretty clear they were ready for this. And that'll do it for Ray Perot. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.
Well, the challenge has been accepted here in this EASHL showdown. Time to find out who gets to own this one. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Moving into the attacking zone. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Fails to find the open man. Let's see what the officials say. So often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Toronto's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Whether there's been a lot of chances or very few chances, what generally breaks the ice is when somebody gets a power play. They get the man advantage, they become a little more aggressive. Sends the pass down low. J Claus has the puck against the half. Take ball. off, loser. Oh. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. O'Brien's got it in the corner. Takes a shot, and that's blocked. And he coughs it up with the pass. The Rebels gain possession of the defensive zone. Clearing attempt, and manages to clear the zone. Toronto's looking to break out. And they send it right back to him. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Toronto's got a hold of the puck, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Here's a blast, and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Maintains possession of the puck along the blue line. Carries it across the line. There he is, from the point. Hammers a shot! Turn that one aside. Off his stick! Another stop by the goaltender. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Couldn't make that one happen. Can't connect! Drills him! Sends it down low. Here's a chance, and he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Toronto's got it in their own zone. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to Holden. Feeds the puck over to O'Brien. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. Well past the midway mark of this period, we're still scoreless. Toronto's won the draw in the neutral zone. O'Brien's got it against the boards. He tries to tuck it in. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in a scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Tuck and roll. Oh, 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 oh. Man, did he steamroll over top of him there, Seaball. Look out. That was a freight train on that one. Throws it in. Toronto's got it behind the net. Angles it over to Holden. And now he tries to get it across to O'Brien. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Toronto's playing it through center. Now a quick pass to Biggs. Can't get a hold of that pass. Slides the puck over. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. And they fail to go tape to tape. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Shot deflected. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Pokes the puck away. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Rebels will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Jay Claus. That's moved up ahead. Can't connect. He grabs the puck here at the point. 
Slides it across to Jay Claus. Clay whistle. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Late goings of this period. Still scoreless in this one. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Binks is going to go off for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Moves around along the half wall. Passes right to the front, and they can't convert to the play. Fires it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Holden. Oh, and a good heads-up defensive play. J. Claus is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Here comes the call. Tripping is the call, and it's pretty cut and dry, it seems, Ray. Well, it's like you, you're in position, then you're not. You reach out, you trip them up, and there's no way to get out of it now. The Rebels win the draw. Pass right on the doorstep, and they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. Period number two is about to go. Both teams still feeling each other out after a scoreless 20. Let's see if that changes here in period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Toronto's talked about getting pucks to the net. They certainly did that in that first period. They just haven't found a way to crack the ice. The Rebels will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Here's a short pass to Dangle. Moves the puck. Tries to the crease. Dangle's going to play it against the half wall. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. The Rebels have it behind the net. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Toronto's back to even strength. And they can't connect. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play. But 80% of the time, you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Answered the call there. The Rebels have it in the offensive zone. Made the stop on that play. Puck clears the zone. Biggs takes it inside his own end. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Dishes it to Dangle. The club have the puck in the open ice. Taken along the wall by Holden. Sends the pass over. Slides the puck down low. Here's a chance right in the slot, and that's broken up. The Rebels have it now. J. Claus plays it against the boards, and that's blocked. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Receives the pass. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. He's got a step. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot. Doesn't execute it. Fires it. And a great save. Really good puck control by the goalie as he gets it out of danger. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. 
and makes the save. Trying to clear the zone. And his teammate comes up with it. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Jay Claus plays it now. Moves it to Dangle. Handles the puck. Oh, just a textbook hit. Quick pass across to O'Brien. From the left side, takes it at center. The Rebels will play it from the defensive zone. Takes a shot. That goes up. Both irons. on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still looking for our first goal. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Carries the puck up through center. Here's a shot, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Moves it quickly over to Biggs. From center, they get into the attacking area. Hammers one from the point. Shuts him down. The Rebels gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's blocked as he gets down low. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. There's the whistle, icing the call. Here in the late going of the frame, we've still got zeros on the board. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. O'Brien's got it to the side. Couldn't find the intended target. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a pass down low. Quick snap, denies him! Kapanen's had to be on his game. That's a great chance. And that's picked off. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Takes a shot, sends it off Mark. A little bit too perfect with the delivery as he shoots it wide of the goal. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. The centermen glide into position. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Still zeros on the board as the second period comes to an end. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are now underway here in this third period. Keeps hold of the puck. Strong defensive effort. Manages to hang on. Biggs carries the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed. The Rebels carry it along the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. And that one's broken up. Takes control of the puck. Scores! The magic touch! Toronto's got the one-goal lead here in this third period. It was starting to look like the goals were going to be really difficult to come by, but they've got another one. Now you want to pressure the team 
try and make them make another mistake. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Toronto's got it along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. He's all alone with the goaltender. Huge stop on the breakaway. Wow, completely ignored the whistle there. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Rebels lead it 1-0. Toronto's won the draw, no go to work. Off the post! Toronto's not going to stretch out this lead. It'll stay pretty tight as this puck hits the post. The Rebels scoop it up along the boards. And icing waved off on this one. Really good hustle to get up the ice and beat the defender to the puck. Picks off the feed. Oh, the officials saw that trip, and the hand is up. Here comes the sentence. Now you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Toronto's up one zip. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And the puck leaves the zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends it quickly to O'Brien. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Sends it over, and the extended stick ends that one. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck heads out of play. The Rebels have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. The club have injected new life into this game, all squared up here in the final frame. I wasn't sure they were going to be able to get this game back. They've been chasing for a while. Now they have a chance. Quick feed down low. Levels them with the hit. Frank's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. The setters will glide into the dot. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Dismiss that chance. Quick feed to Holden. Takes it at center. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Nice feed from the boards. Move to the middle. No room for that one to get through. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. From the left wing, takes the feed. Centering pass. Can't connect. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Into the corner of the attacking area. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Jabs the puck away. Quick pass to Biggs. And now it's over to Dangle. Coughs it up in the neutral zone. And that one stopped. Past the midway mark of the frame. We got a tie game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, a clutch save! Capping in strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Tries to get the puck over to Jay Claus. Cuts to the front! And a strong effort on that play. Smothered that in close chance. That's a big yeah. time hit along the wall. It is, James. I love the way he used the angle. He took away all the ice. They go on the attack through center. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. Let's the wrister fly. Stopped by the goaltender. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Puck slid down the ice. Grabs it in his own end. Passes it over to Jay Claus. The Rebels take it along the wall. Pass back to the point. Fires away! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Working
dragging the puck deep inside their own end. Final minute to go here in the third. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. And makes the save. Frank's play has been outstanding tonight. From the time the puck hit the ice, he's been locked in. Great save percentage, and he's a reason they're close in this game. Denies him with the pad. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Nice job tying up his opponent. Finds nothing but air on that shot. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Unable to reach that one. No icing here. I'm not so sure if that was a pass or a clearing attempt. But anyway, he got down the ice to keep the play moving. Picks it off. Look out. Through center along the wing. And that's picked off in front. Tees him up. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn to end period number three. Still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Overtime action is just moments away. Stay with us. Overtime, moments away. Puck is dropped on overtime. Let's find out if there's any heroes out there. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to O'Brien. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Here's a chance to set up now. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. A critical draw here. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Here's a chance. Denies him on the play. The club have gained possession off the wall. Can't find his man. Toronto's regained possession of the puck. A chance for the win! Oh, what a save to keep it tied! Toronto's got it in the offensive zone and gets it in deep in the opposite corner. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Nothing doing on that. Takes the pass. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Along the half wall with the puck. Picked up along the wall by Holden. Sends a pass over. Takes the feed. And that pass goes awry. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And now he moves it to Jay Claus. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Unleashes a cannon and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Made the save on the play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Graham's got it in the offensive zone. Whiffs on that. Nice poke check. It's a two-on-one. 
Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Jones moves the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Takes a shot. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. A chance in front. And that one's broken up. Here they come on the attack. Nice pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Answers the call with a big save. Fires a one-timer. Denies him again. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Knocked away. Puck grabbed by Holden. Toronto's looking to break out. Looks to get the puck over to O'Brien. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Game on a stick! And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime! Across the line. They've got numbers. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. Moves it on over to Biggs. Moves the puck. Smart defensive play there. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. j Claus setting up against the wall. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Feeds it up ahead. Slides the puck over. Receives the pass. Here he is in close. Big save. Center down in front. And another stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check with the steal. Quick shot. That's blocked. Puck picked up by Jones. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Inside the offensive zone. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Passes right to the front. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Holden's lugging the puck. And they'll dump it in. The Rebels gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Biggs. Can't catch up to the pass. That pass doesn't go. Toronto's got control of the puck. Chapato scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. Fires one, and he makes the save. Moves it to Biggs. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Broken up with a stick. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Sends the pass over. Puck and roll. With authority again. Again and again. How does he not notice? Get the puck. Move the puck. Get your head up. Quick feed down low. Shot. That sails over the net. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Pokes it away in his own end. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Icing his calls, stopping the play dead. Well, it didn't like that after that shot after the whistle. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Dangles won it in their own end. It's almost like he dug in a little deeper there after the icing to win that draw. Misses! Oh, man, I thought he had that one, James. He doesn't miss by much. And that'll do it for the overtime frame. Both sides with opportunities, but still nothing settled, so we'll play on. Overtime is just moments away.
And they are ready to drop the puck here in OT. A sink or swim moment lies ahead for both sides. Overtime continues. Toronto's in transition. No one home on that play. The club have gained control of the puck along the wall. A chance to get it out. Big defensive play on that clear. That puck's got to get out, especially late. He does a nice job here. Takes the feed. Gains the zone from the right side. Couldn't complete the play. Right in front of the net. And they can't convert to the play. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Jay Claus. What a steal in his own end. Handles the puck. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Takes the pass. Sends a pass over. Tuck and roll. Uses the force on that hit. Steps inside the line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Not able to connect. And he comes up with it. Good heads up play to knock it away. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed. Tries to get it over to Jay Claus. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to O'Brien. They've got the defense outnumbered. Makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. We got a minor penalty coming up for here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the feed from the wing. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Nice pass. Couldn't connect on that pass. Slides the puck down low. Toronto's on the attack. Back to the blue line. With the stop. Oh, and another big stop. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Toronto's won the draw. Quick feed to O'Brien. Right in the slot, and that one's blocked. Toronto's got possession while undermanned. Takes the return feed. Feeds it down low. Toronto's going to be hard-pressed to find better opportunities to win it than that as they come up empty-handed with the power play. Sometimes you miss a power play and you shrug your shoulders and go back to the bench. This feels like a pretty heavy miss. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. From the point, looks to make something happen. Comes up with the stop. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Sends it in on the attack. The club have the puck against the boards. Gains the zone through center. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. That pass goes a little sideways. Passes over to Dangle. And now he angles it across to Jay Claus. Great positioning by the defender. Couldn't complete the play. And here's the pass to Dangle. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Toronto's won the draw in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Dangle. Move to the middle, and that's broken up with a stick in front. Nice zone entry from the right side. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. 
There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Dangles won the draw here in the open ice. Moves it to Jay Claus. Handles the puck at the point. Hard blast. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tuck and, and roll. Can't connect. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Feeds the puck across to Dangle. Receives the pass. The Rebels looking against the half wall. Hammers it from the point. Standing tall with the save. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Oh, smart heads up Reed. Here's an odd man rush. Laying the body. Here's an offensive chance. And that goes off a player in front. And the puck clears the zone. Here's a short pass to Jay Claus. And that puck leaves the zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Jay Claus. Dangles swooping in on the attack. Move to the middle. A chance to win it. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Quick feed to Dangle. Blocked in front. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Graham's got it in the defensive zone. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The centermen glide into position. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Chapatos looks around. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass to Dangle. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. O'Brien's got it on the offensive end. Moves the puck down low. Sends the pass down low. Moves the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he gets in the lane to block that. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the puck, and he gets his stick caught in their feet. What a chance as the power play unit goes back to work. Jay Claus wins the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. are back on the ice. They're set as of the officials. Overtime. Let's find out. Toronto's power play is still intact as this period is now underway and they take possession. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Here's the official call. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck, and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Answered the call on that play. And there's a chop after the whistle. Was it ever? He got his money's worth there. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. J-Claus quick on the draw. Trying to clear. 
And the shorthanded unit stays on their heels as that clearing attempt failed. And this is when you start to run out of gas here. You have to recycle your, your penalty killers. They can't get off the ice. Here he is from the slot. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. A critical draw here. Toronto's won the faceoff. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And that's a big clear on that play. Now, coaches are always telling us about details. There's one of them. Get the puck out late in a game. Fires it. Too many bodies in the way. O'Brien's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Oh, Scores! And that's the game! They take it in overtime! <laughs> Toronto's playmakers, the difference here as they come away with the overtime victory. Even see their coach's fist pump behind the bench. The overtime win always is a little sweeter.
Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. I know you're ready. We're ready, too. Let's drop the puck on this. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Flyers take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Slides it over to Couturier. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. And that's picked off. Goalie plays it up. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Flyers look to start the transition game. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's the pass. Can't connect. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to Palat. Puck scooped up by Van Riemsdyk. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Bolts get a hold of the puck along the boards. His reflexes on display tonight. Pushes it across to Couturier. Steps across the blue line. Tampa Bay's got control of it now from their own end. Taken by Hag. Here's a short pass to Konechny. Look out, a two-on-one. And they're on the board as he tucks it into the back of the net here early. I should pay closer attention. I was talking to the backup goalie, and all of a sudden the puck's in the net. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Flyers have taken a 1-0 lead. Here he is in front, and he can't get it off. And they can't convert to the play. And we've got a two-on-one. The Lightning have taken possession in their own end. Sorelli's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Right to the middle. They score! This seemed like an inevitability here. Once a delayed penalty arm goes up, it seems like the defending team just fell back on their heels. They didn't do anything really to slow down the opposition. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Flyers win the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Officials calling tripping here on this one. This was the penalty I think what I took. I was most angry at myself because you're not trying to do it. And then all of a sudden you see the guy go down and you're just like, ah, oh, man, here I go. There's the result. Philadelphia's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Now the power play guys are hungry and over the boards quickly. This is their first power play tonight. Of course, it starts with a faceoff in the offensive zone. Centering pass in front, can't connect, and that's picked off in front. Pokes the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Fails to find the open man. To the front. Turned aside with a glove by Vasilevsky. Great tracking, he finds the puck, he gets the glove up, makes the save on a dangerous chance. Hart stick handling in his own zone. The Flyers move it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Voracek. And that's blocked. The Bolts will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Hedman's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And as he jumps out of the box, he can thank his penalty killers as they bail him out to keep this one tied. The Flyers are being called for tripping. He's fishing around trying to get to the puck. Unfortunately for him, he sweeps out his feet. Uh -huh. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. Philadelphia's across the blue line. To his teammate, and will play on as that goes off the outside of the post. Philadelphia's looking for it all alone. Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Quick feed to Gord. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And they can't connect. Grabs the puck here in their own end. And now it's to Lindblom. 
Across the line from center. Sends it across. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Vasilevsky. Passes on over to Sorelli. Quick pass to Gord. Philadelphia's penalty killers deserve a pat on the back as we are still tied. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. The Bulls take possession in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Giroux. Bank pass off the boards. The Flyers go to work on offense. The Lightning have it in their own zone. Puck grabbed by Sanheim. Up along the wing. Oh, he'll feel that one. The 360 with the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Sanheim. Konechny's got it against the boards. Here's a shot. Simple glove saved by Vasilevsky. Going after that loose puck by any means necessary. Oh, they forced the turnover. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Gains the zone through the middle. Coleman's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see the call here. They're going to be on the same team, James. You've made one mistake already. Now they compound it with another. Boy, talk about a disastrous play. And that sequence there is going to cost them. Great defensive effort with the strip. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Flyers get a hold of the puck under man. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Bolts gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Puts it in for the go-ahead goal! Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You've worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. The good thing he one-times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The Lightning have that all-important go-ahead goal in the first. Coaches love to be able to manipulate their bench when they've got the lead. They don't have to chase the game or shrink it and play guys too many minutes. And the puck leaves the zone. Maroon's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Sin Ben down for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Regains possession at center. Slides it across. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it against the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Picked up along the boards by Provorov. The Flyers will play it through the neutral zone. Rocked them in the open ice. The Bulls get a hold of it. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Hart. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Puck picked up by Provorov. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Flyers played along the boards. Point shot. Puck scooped up by Sorelli. Power play has expired. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Goes right to the crease. All smart heads out play to poke that one away. The Flyers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Taken along the wall by Stamkos. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Can't connect. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and blogs on our team website. New content is added daily. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause.
with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves it to Van Riemsdyk. Tremendous use of the body on the play. Hello! All tied up for the goal! Really good play to score and to get this game back to even. Now we'll see who can grab momentum. Philadelphia's even the score here in the second. I've liked the way they've played this period. They've had pucks to the net, and they look like they've been pretty aggressive. They've now got the equalizer. Sends it over, and that one's broken up. Made the stop on the play. Cutting to the front of the net. It's in the back of the net. He scores! That's just a minute between goals. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Tampa Bay's got the puck here in the open ice. Way out in front. He scores! Nikita Kucherov, the former Hart Trophy winner, comes up with a big one. The Bolts have even the score here in this second period. We thought this was going to be a really good hockey game. Now it's tied up here as we get ourselves into the middle part of the frame. Puts it up front. Breaks up the play with a poke check. It's a three on one. Here's the pass. Big time stop there. And they can't convert to the play. Slides the pass over to Voracek. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Philadelphia is ready to go on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Braun. And now he tries to get it across to Voracek. Couldn't make that one happen. The Bolts played along the wing. Taken by Sorelli. Stopped by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Braun. Picks up the puck in his own end. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Bolts are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. And he denied that opportunity. Sergachev's got it in the defensive end. And now it's over to Coleman. Tampa Bay's on the attack. Down the right side and into the zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Third time he tries. He's got a step. Here's a chance on the doorstep. And they can't connect. And that's outstanding save and a huge opportunity. The Bolts move the puck in the defensive zone. From the slot, stopped by the goaltender. Here's a short pass to Patrick. And we are still tied after an excellent kill by the shorthanded unit. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. Puck grab by Couturier. He scores! And the deadlock's been broken! Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Philadelphia has given themselves control of this game now with a one-goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple goal lead going into period three. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Sean Couturier by number 13. Hag's got it across the line. Great chance in front. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Hag's got the puck. Takes that pass back at the point. Tries to the crease. The Lightning have the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the pass from the left wing. Handles the puck. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Rocks him. Puck picked up by McDonough. Moves it quickly over to Chernak. 
Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Centered out in front. Philadelphia's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Stays with it. Out front. Can't connect. Quick feed to Goodrow. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Hayes is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. The power play coach had a quick meeting with the guys before they went out to start this power play. They know the importance down by one. Philadelphia's penalty killers get a hold of it. The Bulls get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Right in front, he scores! Putting the special in special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. Here in the back half of this period, we are all tied up in this one. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Great read to break up the play. The Lightning have taken control of the puck. Tampa Bay's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Solid hit on that play. Strong defensive effort. Here they are on the attack. To his teammate. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. He's got a step on a breakaway. Scores the go-ahead goal. Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. The Flyers have taken a one-goal lead here late in the second. They've got the lead now. They'd like to run this lead into the intermission. Try and regroup and make sure they're ready to go in the third. Big play inside the defensive zone. By number 61, Justin Drives to the sweet spot. Turn that chance aside. Takes the pass. And he coughs it up with the pass. On the doorstep. And they can't convert to the play. The Bulls carry it along the wall. Tampa Bay's gained possession along the boards. Centered out in front. Puck scooped up by Goodrow. Knocked away. The Flyers gain possession in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Can't connect. Scooped up along the wall by Myers. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Here he is, wrists it on net. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. After that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Tampa Bay's been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Philadelphia's got it against the boards. Nice defensive robbery on that. 
A shot completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Moves around along the half wall. And the puck departs the zone. Sends a pass over. It's a two-on-one. Sends it across. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Takes the feed. Philadelphia's got possession at center. Strong defensive effort. Philadelphia's gained possession. Taken by point. Shot. Scores! And they get it back! Now back to level square. You want them to be as aggressive as possible. You've got the other team reeling a little bit. Really good tip here. He got himself into position so he could deflect it. And it ends up in the net. Tampa Bay's counter-punched back to even things up in the third. There were times it looked like they weren't going to get back to this point. But now you've made it a sprint to the finish. Scored by number two. Takes it to the net. And that shot dies in traffic. Quick pass to Giroux. Picks off the pass. Time of the goal. Five minutes. Here's a move in tight. The Flyers have it against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Kalorn. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Caught him just as he was picking up speed, and he's going to pay for it with the trip. Oh, you're spinning with him. You're trying to get your stick into the puck lane, and you end up tripping him up. Tampa Bay's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Lots of times you practice the power play, it looks great in practice. Then you get it into the game and it looks terrible. That's not been the case. They've been outstanding with the man advantage tonight. From point blank, turns it away. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And he can't hang on after that hit. And that slides right out to center ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. On the backhand! Oh, and that goes wide! Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And he totally whiffs on that one. Here's a short pass to Sanheim. Tape to tape, pass to center. Slides it across. Centering pass. The Bolts fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Oh, well, their goaltender is going to be the happiest guy on the ice. Usually, as of late, when they get shorthanded, he just gets pounded in there. But the PK did a nice job, and they killed the penalty off. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Couldn't find the intended target. The Flyers have it behind the cage. Philadelphia's got the puck against the wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves it quickly over to Sergachev. Nice pass. Breakaway. Oh, the puck was like an anchor for the forward. He's got a breakaway, but he gets caught from behind. Receives the pass. Philadelphia's regained possession of the puck. In all alone on the breakaway. Oh, and he can't finish. Looked like he wasn't sure whether he was going to deke or shoot that chance. It's turned aside. I think he's still confused about what he was thinking there. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And now it's grabbed by Konechny. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's a chance. Stops the rocket of a shot. Pushes it across to Hayes. And we've got a two-on-one. The Lightning have taken possession in their own end. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Quick feed to Konechny. Look out, a two-on-one. Scores! And that's the hat-trick! To get it done on the road is a really special accomplishment. You're dealing with checkers. You're dealing with the line matchup. And it doesn't matter where you are. Three is a great night. Philadelphia's gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? 
to be aggressive. Too often, teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon, it's an all-out scramble. Oh, he misses! Oh, maybe trying to be too fine there, James, and he ends up getting nothing for it. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Flyers are going to serve two for tripping here. Now reaches in with his stick, and he'll go to the box. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. The Flyers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Makes a move in front, and a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Flyers are on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Quick pass to Pallott. Moves the puck. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Point's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Big stop by the keeper. Here's the official call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Puck grab by Gord. Here he is on the tip, and they score! I guess they didn't need that power play after all. See, I still think they should get the power play. Really? Yeah, the guy committed a foul. He should go to the box just because you scored on a delayed penalty it shouldn't wipe the penalty out Ferraro you're savage no I want more goals the coaches wanted that goalie out as quick as possible when he came out they attacked with six men no way to stop this tonight Tampa Bay special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Crucial moment of the game here. They're all alone. Denies, oh my goodness, what a save. I thought he had him, but the goalie keeps the game close with an excellent save. Under a minute to go in the third. Beautiful 360 with the puck. Taken down and the officials caught it. Quick whistle stops the play. The Bolts are getting two minutes for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Philadelphia has won the draw and they'll go to work. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Lawton's won the draw. Puck picked up by Sanheim. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Bolts take it along the wall. In close! Stones him in front. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close. He takes away any room. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. The Bolts get a hold of the puck along the boards. And there's the save. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Ten seconds to go. Eight seconds. Six seconds remaining. And that's picked off in front. Woo! There's the horn, and we are off to overtime. Wow, what a finish. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000... Overtime is just moments away. Tell the story. Overtime is underway here. Moose, chance to win it. Scores! They win it! Ooh, I am exhausted after that one. This game was destined for overtime from the very beginning.
beginning, and this was an outstanding finish. Shooter's able to corral that saucer pass, and then he beats the goaltender.